What's up, peeps? Coach Kev here from the porch again. He's giving you guys a couple updates on what stuff that's going on. Uh, so there's rumors going around in a, a podcast <clears throat> that I followed last night. Uh, the interview room actually kind of confirmed that, that there's been some DNA hits from Rex Huerman in Las Vegas. So he owned multiple properties. He kind of moved around. He was on the west side or east side, then the west side. Uh, of the strip uh, there's four cases I understand that, that's bit kind of being looked at right now uh, that could involve him so you know I predicted that but uh, you don't know, be a genius to predict that anyone that follows criminal psychology I think could have kind of got that I don't think he worked with anyone else uh, was there multiple people dumping there that's a, that's highly unlikely however in this situation I think that's exactly what might have happened they might not even have been serial offenders. They might have been one-off uh, killers for different reasons or whatever. But, hey, just so you know, uh, check that out. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do this week. Uh, hopefully do something soon again with Silky. I've been talking to her. I'm going away at the end of the week on vacation for a week. And got some stuff this week going on. But hopefully I can get back in and uh, keep it going and uh, keep the floor stuff going. <clears throat> Congratulations, Rick Snay. going to be hooked up with a documentary. Uh, that could be a platform for him to really take off if he wants to. Uh, those, that's a big deal. Uh, Delphi, you know, it's quiet, but there's always something weird going on or some other rumor going on. Uh, I'll always look into that, but, uh, the floor is, floor is going. It is going. Uh, we got some people kind of admitting some kind of culpability financially. And, uh, just so you guys know that that does not end the criminal investigation. You have four murders. And as they say in the wire, murder stays murder. Uh, there's no statute of limitations. So either, uh, I think either uh, they'll make an arrest or people like me and Meow will die of old age first because we'll never stop, uh, you know, Frosty. Guys like that, that are, are the guys and gals that are really into it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that, that do that. I just named a couple uh, to keep Floor's name in the news. So let's keep that in the news and let's keep it rolling and, uh, Again, Huberman, man, that's a bizarre case. I shouldn't say it's bizarre. It's very interesting. It's intriguing. Uh, I think this guy's been killing for 20, probably 20 years, 20 to 25 years. I got him starting late 80s, early 90s. Uh, and you're going to see different states. I mean, this guy's going to be prodigious as a killer. Uh, ah, man, he has that, that perfect personality for it, too, I think. And whatever happened with dad dying and mom or whatever whatever occurred when he was 11 changed him forever. And uh, he is the monster that we see in front of us today. So that's about it. It's going to be harder than shit today. I'm going golfing in a golf outing. I'm excited for that. Uh, state senator, as union president, I get to do all that cool stuff like that and hobnob with all the politicians and tell them we need more guys and we need more trucks or whatever the case may be. So... I uh, hope everyone has a good week, a good Monday. It's going to be hot here in the East Coast. Anybody in California, I hope you're okay. Uh, the hurricane, the earthquake, goodness gracious, what's going on out there? Uh, I have a friend from school. It's a San Diego Marine. I'm sure he's stocked. He's, he was ready to go. But, uh, you know, a lot going on right now. So everybody have a good week. And uh, check out the humor and stuff, even if you're not into it. I start reading about it. it it's uh, if you're into profiling and psychology, he's a he's a he's an interesting case, and we want to figure out how we could get people like that when they're young and not let them turn into Rex Huerman. So, all right, peeps, Coach Kev out.